This is a demonstration of how to do a 2.5D track in Equalizer, get it into Maya, do a uh, projection onto a mesh with the tool, and then how to do a soft mod. So in order to do a 2.5D track in Equalizer, you do a track right here, just the regular way, but it's going to appear in Maya um, as a track as well. And in order to make this work, the film back has to be exactly the same as it's going to be in Maya. The zoom has to be exactly the same as does the distortion. If there's an animated zoom, uh, the tool supports that. So if you already have done a camera track and you want to then do a 2.5D track, which, you know, which has, has processed all kinds of uses, uh, make sure that you've got the same animation on the focal length. So again, here we have our 2D track. So then we'll select it here and you can uh, output multiple 2D tracks at one time. Right here we'll go to export 2.5D points to Maya. And we'll get the, we've already got the path right in there. And then we'll go into Maya. So we'll import the MEL script. And I had put it into an equalizer directory, not a Maya directory. So here's the I just made. So these two and a half D tracks, they're sitting at the origin, which is fine. And then we're going to do a parent constraint uh, so that it's like a slide projector from the main camera here. So we can see right here, the uh, scene knows at the origin, the camera's at the origin. Now, they don't have an image plane for it because that's just a distraction, but basically it should be uh, the same focal length and distortion and focal length settings as your main camera here. And here's the locator. I'm going to change this color so it's easier to see. So it's red. So there's our locator. So I'm going to do a parent constraint with no offset. So magically, our slide projector camera is pointing the same way as our hero camera. I'm turning on the clipping plane so it's easier to see what's going on. So the uh, locator here at the moment is behind uh, this geometry. Now, this geometry can be animated or static. This particular one is animated, but what we want to do is fine tune the position of um, the uh, faces so that we get a really tight uh, soft track. So right now there's already a rigid track on this jacket, but we need to have uh, deformations, you know, for muscles or for the, the way the cloth is moving around. So what we'll do is uh, on the uh, match move shelf, there's a button called project locators. And here's a tool. Uh, if you open up a little bit bigger, there's instructions which might change in the future. So what we're going to do is uh, we select the locator, you right click for the viewport, and then you project it. So notice right here that zoomed in on the geometry. Now in order for this to work, you have to have the um, uh, auto key on, or if not, uh, it won't remember the key. So what happens is the screen X, screen Y, and the screen Z is, it's defaults to like minus 390 units, but um, so it's going to change this value each time we hit um, project. I'll project on there. And so now I'm going to do it from the timeline. I'm going to leave auto key on. And hopefully this will work. Okay, of course, it did not work properly at the end because the geometry is uh, out of frame of the camera. So, uh, And there's no intersection with the geometry. In the current version of this, the mesh does not have to be selected. Um, but in the future, you may change it so that you uh, have to explicitly select the geometry because there are certain bugs that are occurring uh, with poor selections of the geometry You know when it just passively figures it out. So. So now that we have that projected properly, now we can do a soft mod. So we want to do is we want 
you know, the position of this isn't actually very good here, okay. But we want this to be moved around and I've got an exact match. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select two edges, let's say this edge and this edge, using the uh, shift key. And then I'll use a soft mod button, which is right here. And then I'm going to, okay, so now we've got a cluster. So what we want to do is we want this cluster to be a parent constraint to that locator. So I'm using the shift button, the control buttons. Uh, so now I can do a constraint. I'm going to do a parent constraint with offset. So add. Okay, so now I'm going to turn off the auto keying for various reasons. So what's going to happen now is that the jacket is deformed. It's actually following along with this locator here. I'm going to make, make sure that that's where, okay, with an offset. So I'm going to turn the auto key off. Can you see what's happening here? And then we go to another frame. So if we were to, uh, so this is, will give you a really tight movement. I mean, if we, um, if we actually move the entire uh, jacket, you'll see what's happening that that particular set of faces there is completely locked.